Hi there, my name is Vic V. I'm an ENT surgeon. What I'm going to do today is show you rather disgustingly what the inside of my nose looks like uh, using one of these. This is a flexible nose endoscopy, which if you're going to see an ENT doctor, it's likely to happen to you, particularly if you have a problem with your nose or your throat. This is a device that helps you look at the back of your throat. So what I'm going to do is put this into my nose so you can see what it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to get this into my nose. It's very interesting. You can see the that little dot in the middle there, not very easily seen because of the contrast. It's Jacobson's gland. There's my turbinates there. Now it's quite hard to do this. It's all upside down. Let's see if I can do this like this. That's a very weird sensation. Quite proud of my nose not looking too weird. Very weird doing this on myself. Everything's back to front as well. And you can see when I talk, my palate's moving. And that little hole on the side there is the tube that goes into my nose, into my ear, sorry. The eustachian tube. And that's me talking. Up here is where my adenoids used to be. And I'm going to go further back. You can see I stopped talking. My voice box. Just there. Well, that's a very weird feeling. <laughs> you can see my voice box moving. Uh, uh, uh. It's my tongue. So I swallow. Stick up my tongue. It's very weird to see the inside of your own body. E, e. Oh, it's very weird. I'm going to come back out now. Well, that was loads of fun. <laughs> it does make your eyes water. Actually, I just thought maybe I could put this into my nose and see what snoring looks like while I'm in there rather than just what my voice box is doing. So I'm just going to turn on the video again. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this again. I'm not instantly regretting it. So if you look in this area here, that's the back of my nose, the <coughs> bit. Just try and do that again. <coughs> that's what happens when you snore. Oh, it's so weird looking at this. <laughs> Oh dear, I've just seen myself in the camera. How embarrassing. Well, I hope you find that interesting. I'll pull this thing out. <laughs> I'll turn that video off. Hopefully you found that relatively interesting in some way, but more importantly, if someone is going to see an ENT surgeon, they're worried about having a flexible nose endoscopy, it's not all that bad. It sounds worse than it really is. The thought of it is worse than it, what it really is. Uh, you just pass it down very slowly, looking at the back of your nose. It's not that bad. Uh, I don't use any uh, anesthetic spray at all because actually the research shows it doesn't really help at all. And actually not using the spray seems to be better for people. They prefer without the spray. Uh, and then you can see I could just push it back. There was no real problems when I did it. So don't be scared about the uh, technique. You can do it without anesthetic. It's very simple. It only takes a few seconds and it'll be all over. And you'll know what's going on with your nose or throat, whatever the reason is you're going to see your ENT surgeon about. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, I'll leave you alone. I'm going to have to blow my nose now. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.